I'm joined by the wonderful and the beautiful mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> before I even started. Yasmin Lacey Hello. Phillips. Yeah, that's right. I got your name absolutely correct because for whatever reason, I always want to call you Vanessa. I don't know why that is. I believe it's because of the mental health issues I'm suffering. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. Maybe we've met in a past life. It's very, very, very like possible. Um, welcome to this wonderful setting. Thank you. Thank now, for those who don't know anything about you, tell us a bit about you and the work you do. Um, I work, I run a small charity called Nottingham CYF Project and the charity is in its ninth year. And it's a really nice project that works with young children in and around St Anne's and Radford. Um, it's long-term intense intervention and it's like with kids who have maybe experienced social or economic deprivation in their home lives. So we see them after school and have a nice time and yeah. So, okay, you, you mentioned the name of the project, um, yeah. CYF? Yeah, it's Nottingham Children, Young People and Families Project. Because okay. we tend to work with, well, immediately with the children, but because we're with them for such a long time, we tend to get the, you know, the families or older siblings and stuff. So Okay, so what sort of age groups do you start with and and end with? I think our youngest little one is four. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the oldest one is probably about 22 now. Wow. Yeah. So that's quite a gap. I know, I know. And you have the skills to work with all? With all of them, well, yeah. Done, in different ways. Uh -huh. in diff so the younger ones, it's a lot more about exploring and playing, and giving them new situations to be in and building confidence and stuff. Whereas the older ones, you can do a lot more with them. Do you know what I mean? If they're interested in something, you can have like a small, we've got like a girls and a boys teenage group okay. that we work with. So yeah. what's, in terms of numbers, how much are we talking? About 50 children Whoa. at the moment with a waiting list as well, yeah. A waiting list? Yeah, yeah. And okay, so how many workers do you have? It must be dozens? No, <laughs> we've got um, I've there's me and one other wow. who is permanent staff, and then we've got a casual worker at the moment. Okay, so do you feel swamped sometimes, or I mean, how do you <laughs> most explain? of the you... time, right? <laughs> Only because um, there's just so much to do, and that's great because obviously that's a lot of work for us to do. But it would be nice to have like a bigger team maybe at some sure. point. So, um, is there a location, or do you go and meet the families? I mean, how does this work? Basically. Um, I work with schools and um, support workers at school or heads of year or the head teacher and they'll suggest kids that they think can benefit from coming to CYF and then we go to the houses so a lot of it is CYF going to the homes rather than waiting for people to come to us mm -hmm. um, so we'll go to the houses and drop off a consent form and just have a chat with the families and let them know what we do let them know that it's all free and our contact details and then we go from there Brilliant. Um, how does your project that you're doing in Nottingham differ from any other project that's in Nottingham, that's council run? Well, I think that you, there are some really great organisations out there, but because CYF has been going, it's been built in a grassroots way and we've, we've kind of kept that even though we've got a little bit bigger. So it allows us to do things and gain relationships with the families that other organisations can't get, so to speak, like... We've got the time, just about, to, to, to go and do those other things. Like uh, a lot of projects, um, you have to take your children to it. We've got a mini bus, so we go and collect the children. Wow. And then we drop them off home so the parents don't need to worry. just means that they can come out more. Or on drop-offs, if someone's not going to be at home, we'll take them to their nana's house or something like that to make sure that we can just keep seeing them. We help out with loads of things like... Um, if a family's got um, one of the parents or one of the carers going into hospital, we'll help out where we can with picking up and dropping off or attending court meetings, we'll helping break down that barrier between like a school and a parent. It can be like the mediator almost or between social services or something like that. Brilliant. Okay, so what sort of feedback do you get from, say, the schools or the parents that, are, that you're involved with? The, the one thing that's really nice... Mm -hmm. um, and I felt it when I first started working at CYF before I took over, is it feels like a second family. Like, that's what it's like. It's not like a group, like a youth group, and you go there and then you play snooker or you play a game in the corner on your own for two hours. We're really much involved and we've stuck around. Um, a lot of families who maybe don't have a big family at home or haven't got, like, grandparents and aunties and uncles to support. 
say that it's like an extended family. Um, and that's a really beautiful thing, I think, to feel like you've got, if you haven't got anyone, to feel like there are people out there that care and will help. So, Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, I just got a message on my um, iPad as you're talking. And I don't know if it, maybe you can explain this to me. Uh, somebody just emailed me and says, don't stand so close to you because your allotosis may affect her. <laughs> what does that mean? I was warned about this, to be honest. I did try and move this. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if it's the infection of the pink trousers. I, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to carry on. I like the pink trousers. Thank you. It Let's must be that then. Okay. It must be, okay. Um, so we, we know what the, um, the adults and some of the um, statutory bodies that work with you think. What about the, the kids, the youths? What do they think about, what sort of feedback have you got from them regarding the work you do? That they want to go quad biking. <laughs> That's mainly what it was, quad biking and surfing. No, just that they are really attached. It's like having like an older sibling maybe or a, a just an extended support network. And the relationship with the kids is really, really nice. Um, their feedback is just, I think they get quite attached and they, they really want to continue because they achieve so much at CYF. It's a really open thing. They can come to me and say they want to do X, Y and Z. And if we can, we'll find a way to do it or they're worried about this, we'll find a way to sort it out. So it's quite open. Um, and it's just that we've been consistent and honest and that stayed the same. I think they like the boundaries, even though they don't say it like that. They like the fact that, you know, they get to see us every Wednesday or every Wednesday and Saturday and that doesn't change. So they like that. I think they also like being driven around in a minibus and listening to my music. Fantastic. Um, and... Yeah, I think it's just nice to have like other like-minded people around them. So it's like a, they've extended their social network as well, which is good. So you say that they like listening to your music as a throwing it out there. What sort of music are you into? Well, I play them everything. Mm -hmm. We try and tie it in. So they're really fa they really love food, mm -hmm. and we have like food tasting sessions. And some of the parents like if they're from somewhere they want to share a dish, they'll make it and then we'll discuss it. So I try and play a lot of world music to them. So we'll tie it in. So we did like food tasting the other day and then we just had like some world music on in the background or if they say, the other day they were didn't know where Cuba was so we just go through it and then we'll find some Cuban music. Beautiful. And yeah, they really like it. They really like it. Well, if you're into music, tell them to actually um, try and find a record by a group called The Brotherhood of Man. Okay. It's, um, <laughs> I'm not familiar with well, it. Well, <laughs> you're missing out, sis. Save all your kisses for me. I mean, every time I think about it, I get quite emotional. Really? Yeah, so... Do you want to sing a little bit now? Save all your kisses for me. Save all your kisses for me. <laughs> I don't bye think bye. the kids will oh, like okay, it. Okay, you don't... Okay, okay. I'll stop listening. <laughs> but there's a dance that goes with it as well. Oh. But because I've got bad ankles. Yeah. yeah. And varicose veins. Ankles, yeah. Ankles, <laughs> I can't actually stand up and do it. But You, you know, take it easy. Google YouTube. I will do. Yes. Is it paper lace? Oh, I get emotional when I hear it. Oh, yeah. of man as well. Okay. A amazing. Thank you. No problem. It. <laughs> it's a gift, sis. Now, if people are listening to this interview and they're thinking to themselves, one, why is a guy wearing pink? But secondly, how can they get involved with your project? Can they get involved with your project? Yeah. Uh, I can't help with the guy wearing pink thing. I'm Sorry. confused. As well well. No joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, they can get involved in our project. We've got... This year, as the season's changing, we've got a lot of work days coming up at our allotment and we always need lots of bodies to dig and anyone that's feeling pretty strong, that would be great. I think um, over summer we have more opportunities for volunteering. But I think that a lot, what I've learned from running the charity is a lot of charities think you need money all the time. I'm not so certain that that's true. I think if everyone just has a skill or an hour or so here and there, to lend a hand, it just, you know, it just rebuilds a sense of community. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, oh yeah, I've got six weeks of placement that I need to fill. It's like, I've got an hour where you've got a work day, they can come and just plant something at the allotment. And that that is really nice. I like the kids to feel like other people in the community are supporting what we're doing. Um, and if people want to get in contact, we're on Facebook. Um, it's, we've got a page on Facebook called Nottingham CYF Project. And our website, www.nostrumcyfproject.com. And that will have my contact details on there. And yeah, it's always good to hear from people. Brilliant. Final question. Uh, what does Mi We Zen mean to you? I think it's about, it's quite a similar message to what we're trying to do at CYF. And I love that. I think it's about um, enriching people's experiences um, that don't necessarily have them. I think it's about working together with people and 
benefit in humanity, which sounds really, really simple. Sounds amazing. But I think that if everyone just did that, even just once a day, then we'd all be in a better place, sort of thing. Uh, no, that, that's amazing, which reminds me of a song that I'd written. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I, I had this, and um, I'm going to give you some of the, the words. Please do. Similar to what you just said, um, it's... <clears throat> I'm not, not going to sing it, so I'm just going to talk it to you, yeah, yeah. Like, like a monologue. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. This sounds familiar. So this is a gift. It's a gift. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a gift. And, and you can use that whenever you want to. Maybe moving forward, you could maybe think of a little song you'd like to make up about CYF. I was thinking to myself, <laughs> you've got to save yourself. Why? No. C Why? I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. <laughs> but we must collaborate together on a song. Yeah. No problem. I think that needs some work. No problem. I'm, 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 that's not a problem. But before we go, um, somebody just sent me another message mm -hmm. and they said something regarding mint. I don't understand what they mean, <laughs> but no, it's pink. It's not green. It's like a salmon colour. That's what it is. I don't know where the mint yeah. thing comes in. I, I don't know mint. I don't understand what that means. I think maybe we could we arrange some mints for you. I don't like minces. I'm not into the Christmas mince pies and stuff like right. that. Right, I just meant breath mints. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's what someone was like asking about. You shattered. <laughs> yes, I was just going from what you, you were saying about the emails. Right. I have then, no idea. I'm just trying to put that's how you hurt me? Together. Okay, no problem. I'm going to end now because I can feel my heart about to burst. Maybe you um, could sing it out. Sing it out. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> It didn't help, sis. It didn't help. But listen, <laughs> thank you for being our guest. Thank All the you. best with your project. And if we can do anything to help, just ring us. Thank you. Thanks no very problem. much. Thanks.